Another video about my movie collection. Yes, this is volume 15. So let's get at it. The Man Who Never Was, Billy Bob Thornton, 2001. Somewhere in Time, 1980, Christopher Reeve. Saturday Matinee, Hoppy Serves a Writ, Bells of Corano, starring Roy Rogers and Bells of Corano, and starring William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Hoppy Serves a Writ. 1949, Roy Rogers in 1943 with Hoppy. <clears throat> yes. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, and Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. 2008 and 2004. Fiddler on the Roof, 1971. Was this the best picture? I can't remember. Yeah, Fiddler on the Roof. Topple. So, two ball, top ball. Here's one I got from the dollar store, Dollarama, years ago. Haven't opened it up and haven't watched it yet. Three movies and one DVD. My Dear Secretary with uh, Kirk Douglas, 1949. Mr. Models, Models Last Warning with Peter Lorre from 1939. And Sherlock Holmes. And the Secret Weapon, starring Basil Rathbone. <coughs> Here's Elf in a movie. Yes, Project Elf. It's got a keychain, too. What year was this? Oh, I don't know. What year was this? Oh, 2004. Never saw it, never opened it. This is supposed to be worth like 200 bucks. $200. Yeah, Gran Torino. Yeah, that's a real good movie. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. That's a real good one. Ida Lapino, Cornel Wilde, and Celeste Holm, and Richard Widmark in Roadhouse. 1948. Film Norse, as far as I understand. Hancock from 2008. Yeah. Will Smith. Chariots of Fire, still sealed in the plastic. I guess this was the best picture, too. Yeah, best picture. <coughs> Chariots of Fire. Charlie Wilson's War, 2007. Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. National Treasure 2, Nicholas Cage, 2007 movie. King Kong, 2005. Got its own sleeve to keep it warm. Warm. It's like 2005. The Producers, 2005. Matthew Broderick. Nathan Lane. If I Stay, 2014. Charles Grace Moratz. Moratz? I, I can't ever say her name right, but she's a good actress. She was, I'm pretty sure she was in Kick Ass. This is 2014. So this is only a few years, three or four years after Kick Ass. I mean, I got the right actress, right, for Kick Ass. Uh -huh. She's been in a lot of movies. Good young actress. Purple Rain, movie list, 1984. Prince. This is a good movie. 
Haven't watched that in a while either. Two disc special edition. Yeah. You don't know, we're getting into some of these ones now. Sherlock Holmes. Over 12 hours. Over 12 hours. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes. 10 movies on 3 DVDs. The Woman in Green. The Sign of Four. Murder at the Baskervilles. Bonus features about Sherlock Holmes. Rare radio highlights. A biography of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah. Terror by Night, The Woman in Green. Murder at the Baskerville. Triumph of Sherlock Holmes. The Speckled Band, A Study in Scarlet. Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace. Fourteen hours. Over fourteen hours. John Wayne. Most of his orders from the early 30s, like Helltown, Texas Terror, The Lawless Frontier, Randy Rides Alone, Stagebrush Trail, Neath the Arizona Skies, West of the Divide, The Desert Trail, Blue Steel, The Dawn Rider, The Lucky Texan, Angel and the Bad Man, and they even threw in Malinktok. Yeah, Malinktok, that's uh, from 1963. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I've seen that at the shop. Don't tell anybody. But, uh, yeah, 13, mystery, 13 hours. The Bat, Gaslight, Shriek in the Night, Blake of Scotland Yard, Fear in the Night, The Limpin' Man, Bulldog Drummond, Shadows on the Stairs, Dead on Arrival, that's a good movie. Dead on Arrival, Tomorrow at 7. The Mandarian Mystery, and bonus feature, classic radio episode of The Adventures of Philip Marlowe. Yeah, so, these are all right. They're okay, not rolling. See? I checked off the ones I watched. Give me next. I watched Dead on Arrival, too. I watched a bunch of these ones, but they're all right. They're fine. I got them in another set, some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. This is uh, Batman, The Dark Knight. Let me see if I can open this up without making a mess. Now you see you get it in a case like this comes in a box. What's in here? And you got your DVD inside here. I should put it in a paper sleeve though. I haven't had this open for years. But yeah, it's in here. Put that back together. And you're giving you a mask. Pla this is plastic. Sticky. Yeah, it must be from the, what is it? I don't know, forget what you call it. Moisture or something? But it's kind of sticky. But yeah, it opens up. You gotta, it opens up and you get the, the movies inside too. Special features in the dark night. Widescreen. I don't even think I've watched all this yet. And what's this one? The Dark Knight. I don't even know what that is. What is what is this? The Batman Unmasked. It must be a special thing. See, I haven't even watched that yet. I gotta watch all this stuff, man. I'm getting too fucking old not to catch up on some of this stuff. Anyway. Put that away. We'll put that away after. Over 13 hours. 13 hours. Martial arts masters. Bonus features include a history of martial arts and biographies. Nine movies on three DVDs. Rogers Video. That's here in Canada, in Toronto. I paid 6.99. <laughs>
probably a long time ago, and I haven't even watched it yet. Jesus. The real Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, the man, the myth. Blind Fist of Bruce. Starring Bruce, well that's not Bruce Lee, that's Bruce Lee, L-I. So yeah, I don't know what, oh, I have no idea what this is about. Bruce Lee, as a child actor, and probably a bunch of crap, but anyway, I'd have to watch it. Bruce Lee, yeah, whatever. And then we got this one. See, I don't know if I showed some of these or not. I'm, I, you know, like, sometimes I get them mixed up, but it comes in the sleeve, right? And there's, uh, oh, let me see. World of World II action collection. Starring Randolph Scott and Robert Mitchum, Dana Andrews, Guy Madison. This one stars Lee Van Cleef, Van Johnson, Ken Clark, George Hilton, Michael Rennie. Featuring Commandos, Desert Commandos, Go for Broke, The Battle of El Alamein, Ski Troop Attack. These are probably all in the public domain, I would think. Yeah. Hell in Normandy. A Walk in the Sun. Five for Hell, Gung Ho, Randolph Scott, Robert Mitchum. This one, Commandos, starring Lee Van Cleef. Desert Commandos. Go for Broke, starring Van Johnson. Now, some of these, like everything else, some of these are, you know, they're okay to watch. And then you get some, you know, you get some duds, right? You know what I mean? You get a, instead of a six or a seven movie, you might get a three or something now. Well, that's, you know, you buy them like that and you take your shot, right? You take a chance. And this, this is uh, Charlie Tramp, Ch 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 Charlie Chaplin collection, The Little Tramp. This has got a lot of his shorts in it. This is Keystone Studios, Mutual Studios, First National, and uh, First National, and Ensign A Studios. This has got a night out, The Champion, In the Park, The Tramp. Making a living, caught in the cabaret, the floor walker, you know, the fireman, uh, the rink, dog's life, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, I haven't even finished watching all these yet. Oh, I paid 15 bucks for this a couple of years ago, or two or three years ago, down at the Danforth at the record store. And then there's this one here. I don't even know if I showed this before. This is Alfred Hitchcock. The Legend Begins, some of his, I think there's a couple of silent ones on here. Yeah, um, the Lady Vanishes. Yep, Alfred Hitchcock presents a couple of uh, things from TV show, I guess. Uh, Blackmail, 1929. Champagne, 1928. Easy Virtue, 1926. Yeah, The Farmer's Wife, 28. Jamaica Inn, Juno and the Peacock, The Lady Vanishes, that's 1938. That's a train, the one in the train, right? Yeah. The Lodger, 1926. Um, the Man Who Knew Too Much, 1934. Peter Laurie, uh, The Max Man, 1926, yeah, number 17, 1932, Rich and Strange, The Ring, 1927, Sabotage, 1936, Secret Agent, 1936, The Skin Game, 1931, 39 Steps, 1935, and Young and Innocent, 1937. And 55 minutes or Sir Alfred Hitchcock's movie trailer spanning his legendary career. I still got to watch a few of these too, so I've seen some and watched them, and some I haven't and still haven't watched. So yeah, it's always like that. I got movie collectors are like that. Eh? They buy movies and they never watch them, which is kind of dumb. When I'm, I'm calling myself dumb, which probably I am. I should start watching stuff that I haven't seen before that I already have instead of buying more movies but and we all know that's not going to happen <laughs> anyway that's another 
Movie collection. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Try not to make the videos too long. All right. Stay safe.